What is plum concrete? To create plum concrete, stones up to 300 mm in size are typically used as filler. With this technique, less cement can be used without sacrificing strength, increasing the apparent yield of concrete. Plums are the common name for the huge stones used. These plums go towards building mass concrete. Plums can provide flavor but don't make up more than 30 to 40 percent of the total volume of the concrete when mixed in. In addition to its more common names, plum concrete is also sometimes called cyclopean concrete or rubble concrete. It is recommended that 60 percent plain concrete along with 40 percent big stones be used in the making of cyclopean concrete according to the United States technical specifications. For this project, you'll need plain concrete with a minimum 28-day resistance of 180 kg per square centimeter, and all of your ingredients should be thoroughly saturated before you begin mixing. The stone used must align with ASTM standards, and its exact dimensions will be decided by the blueprint for the concrete. Specification of Plum Concrete According to General Specifications, 41.3.6.F, the following are the design requirements for plum concrete. Class B concrete, which includes huge rocks, is required for the plum concrete. Plums cannot take up more than a third of the space in the area where they are used, i.e. 33%. The final purpose of the plum concrete and the necessary level of strength will establish the grade utilized in its production. However, the bare minimum is M20. Stone or plumbing fixtures can be no smaller than 150 mm in some circumstances, with the maximum size being determined by the building's overall footprint. It is required that there be at least 150 mm of concrete all the way around each stone. The formwork for pouring the plum concrete must be steel plates or plywood. We recommend allowing 7 to 14 days for a cure. Neither the middle nor the outermost layers of the concert plum exceeded a height of 900 mm. Spaces deeper than 150 mm are not permitted in any one layer. As a percentage of the total, the concrete plum will not surpass 40%. For the best results, use a maximum 25 mm aggregate size and an M10 concrete grade. Plum will be made up of 100 kilos per square centimeter, or more, of crushing strength black trap basalt. The compactness of plum concrete is 1,650 kg per cubic meter. Concrete can easily be placed so as to mount all reinforcement methodically. The maximum size of coarse aggregate ought to be as large as possible, but should not be greater than one quarter of its minimum thickness of this unit. Plum concrete should have a maximum size of 10 mm where reinforcement is present. In plain concrete work, plums larger than 150 mm and of roughly any appropriate size may be used up to a maximum limit of 20% volume of the concrete. In any event, though, you can expect the plums to be scattered uniformly and to be at least 150 mm from the ground at their closest. Construction Procedure of Plum Concrete Delivering plum components is step 1. Workers can easily lift the boulders because of the stone size they contain. The second step, cleaning and leveling surface arrangement. Any soft soil that could result in a lack of bearing capacity must be removed and the surface well leveled and cleaned. After the land has been cleared of brush and debris, it is soaked with water in preparation for the placement of plum concrete. Third, the spacing and expansion of plum concrete boulders are placed on the ground in a series of layers with minimal gaps in between them, and concrete is pumped over the boulders in each layer, or it progressively fills the spaces between them. Fourth, let the plum concrete cure. At least a week must pass for the curing process to be successful. In order to maintain the concrete's moisture for an extended time after curing, jute bags are dispersed over the whole area. In the event of a concrete scarcity, for financial reasons, or for any other reason, it may be necessary to purchase additional boulders. Application of Plum Concrete the normal practice calls for plum concrete to be used as a footing base to prevent groundwater seepage. Plum concrete can be exploited for large-scale construction projects like constructing bridge piers or concrete dams. The first dam was built with plum concrete that employed plums of 150 mm in diameter and had a cement content of 177 kg m3. It was hypothesized that a more unified concrete mix of 150 MSA could be attained with relative ease using high-speed mixers of suitable capacity. 
As another example, let's say it's recommended that the pit under a machine's bed have a certain depth, but the hard stratum is just 3 meters below the surface. Whereas in the plan it was proposed that the bed's base may be 1.5 m deep. Plum concrete of thin ratio utilizing 80 mm minus 100 mm stones will be poured, pushed up to 1.5 m, and then typically plan raft, puddings may be installed. Field use of plum concrete. Subsequent to the footing and foundation, a level surface is achieved with the help of plump concrete. You can use it to save money on PCC if you need a sizable PCC thickness but it won't affect the performance. Its primary application is in bulk concreting projects such as gravity dams, barriers, and side slopes. For instance, if the area under a footing in a residential building is too shallow, plum concrete must be used. I hope this video provides you with a sound understanding of plum concrete and its applications. Please feel free to like, share and comment.